So this is the first one that actually has a bit of story to it. Spoiler, Spoilers, Sonic can go super. Knuckles is a dick. Oh yeah, the original soundtrack, like, because it changed in Sonic when you combined it. Okay, right, well, welcome to uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is uh, part two of the Sonic the Hedgehog retrospective memories. Uh, we did one and two in the first part. If you haven't seen that, then uh, go ahead and watch it. Please. It's pretty entertaining. And I am, as with the last part, joined by Glyn, Tom and Tim. Hello. Guys? Else say hello? No. Does anyone else want to say hello? No! I don't! Okay. Hello. Uh, going. Right, so as with before, we're going to show you a bit of gameplay uh, filmed on my camera because I don't have a PS2 capture card. And All I can do is jump it, isn't it? Yes, I can. I am going to help you! <laughs> Tim is being the ultimate aid in you the know, blue sphere. This is slightly easier. Yeah, this is way fucking oh, these, easier. This was probably the. These are probably the easiest Yeah, we were on blue stages. sphere earlier. Yeah. Well, with the camera challenger, and that automatically puts you on the knuckles watch, which is slightly harder. Not by much, but harder. Yeah. Um. Right. So let's let's get into it then. So basically, um, Sonic Three. I'm assuming, Glyn, that you played this after two. I never played three until a friend of mine moved into town and had three with him. I was like, ooh, I've never seen this one before. Oh, right. And, yeah, and until then, it was Sonic 1, then 2, then Knuckles, ah, then 3. I see. And I was like, oh. And that's when I found out about the whole, these two stories are part of each other. Did you also play it on um, Mega Drive? Like, 3? I played, he brought it over, so I played it, like, once on the Mega Drive, but most of the time I played it was on Mega Collection. Okay, fair enough. And emulator. That's cool. Uh, Tim, did you have this on Mega Drive? Uh, yeah, I think I did. A long, long time ago. When I, don't I see. When. So, would you say you played the majority on Mega Drive, or was oh, it yeah, like? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Um, I myself. Well, I when I because obviously I bought the Sonic games after I got the Mega Drive. I never actually looked into the list of Mega Drive Sonic games there were. So, I got. 1 and 2, and then I got 3D, which I assumed was the third Sonic game. <laughs> and then after a week so or two, I. after a week or two, I saw this, uh, so I saw Sonic 3 in a shop and thought, hang on a second, they're separate releases. And I got pretty, pretty excited and stuff. Uh, I don't think I played much of 3, or rather, I didn't play much of Plain 3. I played a lot of Knuckles uh, 3, which we'll cover in another part. Um... So, Tom, I'm assuming you got a ROM of this as well. Uh, yeah, I, I never really played this on oh, its own until lag. recently, but the soundtrack, of course, is different when it's by itself. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, this this is easily uh, my, probably my favourite. This is my favourite 2D Sonic game. Oh, cool. Um, I mean, uh, this or and Knuckles? Uh, well, this and Knuckles, I guess. Oh, right. Well, it just makes it really long, essentially. Yeah, I guess. That's, uh... But yeah, cool. So, um... Right, let's get on to stages. Now, I don't remember any stages from this game, to be honest. Ice Cap Zone's my favourite. Ice Cap Ice Zone, Cap. yeah. Um, Ice Cap Zone. Oh, actually, yes. I don't have many favourites from 3. Oh, fun fact. Uh, Ice Cap. Wait, hang on. We're, we're going to do fun facts later at oh. the end. I nearly mm. said Sky Sanctuary, but that's not Knuckles. Um... Right, yeah, mate, I'll, I'll go with Ice Cap Zone as well then, actually, because I don't remember many of these places. Um, right, so... Then, ah, right, yeah, no, music, that's the next one. So, like, what was everyone's favourite track of this? Ice like, Cap. Ice Cap, yeah. Ice Cap was good. I like the, uh, the, the, the like, um, mini-boss theme as well. The, like, I like the mini boss theme from I mean, Knuckles more. Um, so I'm probably gonna go with Blue Sphere. I think that's one of the best. Um, the mini boss theme on here was allegedly uh, made by uh, Oh Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Jackson yeah. Yes. See, I, I I've heard different stories. Well, some people say he made it. I think I think officially Games Radar looked into this and what it was was that Michael Jackson contributed, he started work on this, didn't like how it turned out and then sort of 
essentially threw in the towel. Was like, look, I don't want to do this anymore. But they still use yeah, but basically, because of like some form of legal matter and that he'd made the music, but it was Sega's music, they just went ahead and used it anyway. Oh, and the I, well, yeah. I heard they didn't credit him because of the allegation no, that was well, surfacing at the time. According to the thing I read, like that was me. Well, no, according to the thing I watched about three or four months ago. It basically the like the allegations came out about like a month or two before this released, which would have made it like very 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 short notice than yeah. to have gone back and rewritten stuff. So it, it was basically that they just like this had nothing to do with the allegations. That it just came later and they were like, oh well, I guess that's kind of lucky then. But yeah, but, but basically, some of this is Michael Jackson's work, and you can kind of hear it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, so, right, okay, Tom, go ahead with your fun fact. That was my fun fact, the Michael Jackson <laughs> that's thing. That's probably what most people oh, about this game. Right, oh, right, yeah, that's... Uh... And also, um, that was been alluded to, it's part of the two-part story, but... What was supposed to be a bigger game became Sonic and Knuckles. Ah. They couldn't. They couldn't. Did they not have time, the or could they not fit? Or did they just not fit it? Um. No, it was uh, scheduling. They didn't have time. Yeah. Um. Oh, fun fact. Right. Go ahead with um, your fun fact. The final boss on when the game is by itself yeah. is the big arm boss, which you only get with Knuckles in the combined version. And uh, if you play the combined version, you do not fight the big arm boss. You skip boss. that boss entirely. Oh. I guess it's because he's a final boss on this game, as opposed to, like, a... He yeah, would be a midway boss a if they sense. put him in. Yeah. But he is one of the hardest bosses, easily. I do love uh... the Generations remix. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. So, um... So that's basically it. I can't think of also, anything fun else. Fact, if you got the, the bubble shields, you don't run out of oxygen. Oh, oh yes, yeah. They, yeah. They, of course, they added elemental shields on you, which uh, Tim, my lightning. <laughs> my, the lightning was uh, my favourite one because it attracts rings. Yeah, and lightning was cool. Jump. That's literally the only reason why I like the bubble shields. Uh, the fire one makes you invulnerable to all fire-based attacks and lets you do this like boost forward thing. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, right, well, I can't think of anything else to say unless any of you guys have anything to contribute. Uh, no, that's me. Right, okay, well, oh, we'll... first game with save feature, there you go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. actually, no, yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, because when I got this second hand, I had three save files were already written on, and I was like, oh, okay, it's fine now, because you can delete them and stuff. But yeah, but it, it was interesting because I was like, oh shit, for the first time, I think that was the first pre owned game I had that had obviously save files on the thing, and it's like I could see what other people had been doing in the game. I was like, oh, I think they actually got to like the next stage, and like that was the furthest they got, but that was interesting. Yeah, it was it was kind of weird. It's like, wait, why does everyone just get to this stage? What's so wrong about it? It's like, oh, okay. Um, right, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, our next part should be Sonic 3D, I think, so stay tuned. Is it the scream? What's part of it? Sayah! Anyway, right. As you can. Oh, Traveller's Tales, I keep forgetting it. Oh, yeah. uh, so, as you can probably tell, this is Sonic Generations <laughs> with the really new graphics and. <laughs> yeah. Right, a hedgehog. A hedgehog cannot talk. Oh, but can they dance? Right. Sorry. Um. So this. Ooh, they live in another dimension. They can travel anywhere through the large rings. So right. So we're playing Sonic 3D Thingy Flicky's Island. Thingy Flicky. I don't fucking know. Right. Uh, this is not. This is not going to be a. Long segment. So, Glyn, what was your first memory of? Mega Collection. Right. So, you, so you didn't own this on cart or anything? No, but I knew about it. As yeah, you, I knew it existed. As you can probably tell from the intro to this series, I have all of them apart from Mean Bean Machine, all the Mega Drive Sonics on cartridge, uh, which I'm pretty proud of. Right. So, Tim, what was your first uh, introduction to 3D Flicky's Island? They got Mega Collection. So you hadn't played it beforehand. 
Oh, right, okay. I I, I feel... Well. The closest to this I remember is I remember seeing it in the Argos catalogue. Oh, <laughs> so, 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 you, so did you not even ever, ever see like gameplay of it for Mega Collection? No. Wow, I shit. I knew there was a Saturn version. I knew... I, I, don't, I knew about the Saturn version. I don't think I knew what Mega Drive was. Was the Saturn expect. version superior? I'm assuming. Only in graphics. The music's different. I prefer the music in this. Yeah, I mean, the music's pretty good, actually. Um, oh, yeah, this is good music. So, my memory of this was that I have run Cartridge. This is, I obviously played this before 3. Sorry. No, I, I mean, it's not as horrible a game as some people make out. It, it gets frustrating, like, you may need to take a turn right, and sort of Sonic's just like, yeah, I'll turn right in a few days. There's <laughs> far worse ones, like Sonic Lamparum. No. Tail of Sky Patrol. But yeah, but I think 3D maybe is. Green Girl. This music. Oh, what the oh, hell? Oh, this music, yeah. M- maybe. I can tell, it looks a bit different. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> three, 3D certainly takes a while to get used to. Um, but that, that was pretty cool. I always loved those things. Um, but at the time, to be honest, this was the weakest of the three Sonics I'd played, obviously. But. It wasn't like such a horrible game that I never came back to it. I think I, I think I completed a few levels on this. I, I just didn't have motivation to continue. Really, don't know what happens at the end. I don't know anything about it actually. Uh, Sonic actually dies. Oh well, there we are. Ah, uh, this game. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was certainly an interesting like test by. Uh, I can't remember the proper name for it. Is that Isometric 3D? Yeah, something, Isometric. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um. It was, was alright. I, I didn't hate this game. I mean, I've seen a lot of hate for it, and I think it's slightly undeserved, but again, I, would, I wouldn't I would say this is anywhere near as good as the 2Ds. Like, but I think if you understood this as a game that isn't Sonic, and more as a really weird, like... Well, the fact that it's called Sonic 3D yeah. doesn't help. You, know, you have to collect these flickies, and yeah. it, it's all about stage exploration. Oh yeah, yeah, it's... which isn't—they just—I don't think they pull it off well. That's all. Yeah, it the dips and stuff really throw you off because it's hard to tell what it, how big of a dip stuff is, and sometimes you like go all the way like fucking like to a well crawl really without realizing. Uh, so Tom, what, have you played? I'm assuming you've played this. Uh, yeah, I emulated this uh, around the same time I played all the others, and I kind of just played it a little while and turned it off. Honestly, I've never actually completed this game. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you look at the cutscene at the beginning, it's absolutely dreadful, and then you yeah. look at like say Sonic CD is cutscene, and it's absolutely spectacular. So I don't know how they could bugger up so much, you know? It is It is odd. I mean, this was with Traveller's Tales, which is an interesting uh, interesting thing, I think. I'm um, not deliberately being derpy, the controls are ever so slightly frisky. I mean, it's not dreadful, is it? It's just no, I mean, this isn't really a bad mediocre. game, this is just, yeah, mediocre. Just I think I think one of the best words to drive it is dated. In that, I'm sure at the time this is pretty fucking impressive because the graphics aren't horrible. I mean, the stage graphics rather than. This is 20 years old. Wow, shit. The stage graphics aren't sort of vomit inducing. It's it's alright. It certainly looks like something that would run on the Mega Drive. Um, (laughs) I was going to ask you guys stages, but. I can't remember this one. This one, dude. This you, this even one. I can't remember what the fuck the stage is after this one. Like I got to the second one and I kind of just turned there's, it off. There's a few that have the same tile set, and then I think it changes. I uh, what is it? Ice. I, can't I mean, I can't tell. Remember. You're welcome to comment in the comment section if I'm wrong or ever. I don't think anyone's played this game enough to have a fond memory. Okay. If you do, if you do have a fond memory though, comment in the comment section because I'd love to know. I'd like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Uh, seriously, guys. I'd like don't... to know if people actually thumbs up. And enjoyed it. Yeah, thumbs up. Uh, uh, and, and other things that YouTubers like that like to do. Seriously, Share it with your friends. Seriously, don't subscribe unless like you actually want to, because it it doesn't actually give you anything above just checking back on the channel now and then. Uh, and I don't. Brilliant partic- wants all the money. I well, I have this song. I haven't monetized any of my videos, uh, and I refuse to. So, um, 
if you want to appreciate the music of this game without playing this game, you can either listen YouTube. to it on YouTube. Or there's an awesome hack called Sonic Mega. Um, no, no, Sonic Mega Mix. That's it. Oh. I least suggest that. One. Um. Or you could just like do what I do and buy the box copy for Mega Drive and play it on that. Is, uh, you know. Why not? Yeah. Um, right. So music again. I can't remember any of the music. This, this one. one. Yeah. And the invincibility is all I remember. Oh, and that opening. Uh, one yeah. Yeah. The... No. Okay. The opening actually. Yeah. This. It's about it. I uh, think it was a, some rusty gear zone or something, and that had quite a memorable track. Does anyone have any tidbits or any extra well, information? You know. The fact they used this song in uh, Adventure. Oh. That, um, was about it. Yeah, there's a remix of this song. Um, yeah. Well, that's... yeah, this game exists. It's not all I can answer. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't avoid you like the plague. It's not horrible. It's just, it's not I've that got, good. I've got nothing to add to it. <laughs> Aren't there special stages on this if you find like knuckles or yeah. something? I think so. Don't think I ever did. Oh no, shit! No, I did. Yeah, I I've can't remember what they were one, though. So I'm not gonna do it now. I can't find them. Just... I can't remember what they were, but yeah, I... you have to find them. I think I remember being quite like excited. It's like, oh shit, Knuckles is in this. Okay, um, that's about it, really. I guess there's not much to say about 3D, but Where is this last I thought thing? I'd do it now anyway. Um, it's probably up on the next bit. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, part three will probably cover Knuckles and the Knuckles add-ons. That's uh, Sonic and Knuckles, uh, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two and Knuckles, and Sonic the Hedgehog three and Knuckles. So stay tuned till part three.